happened to have stumbled across them in the least accessible spot by boat and they've just been queuing up for the live system. Um, I think I'm just to the right of the swim they call Avignon where the, um, where the boats, the row is going in and out of. Um, I'm, I might be in it, I might be just to the right of it. Um, someone who's got some experience on the lake can tell me that. I've got a swimmer down to my right. Um, I've literally got an hour and a half tonight so I've just come down um, and I've just pinged, pinged them out. Two on the left are in shallower water just over the back of the weed. Um, which I really like the area of. A chap earlier told me that there are fish there, but they're mainly small commons. But um, I don't really, I don't really care. A any fish from this lake will be a bonus. And then on my right hand too, um, I'm fishing out into deeper water. It's, it's, it's pretty deep. I, I'm, I'm guessing it's about 25, 25 foot, something like that. I'm um, just on stringers with five baits catapulted around each rod. I've had a lovely day with the baby in the swimming pool. I've um, got all the stuff ready. Um, yeah, it's just nice, nice to be here really. If I catch a fish it's a bonus. Um, it's quite busy. There's, there's two guys, I think that's Ellis Point um, opposite. So there's, there's two guys on there. There's a guy over where I started. Um, he's just a little bit further up from me and then there's an English chap just round to my right. Um, so there's a lot of hell of a lot of anglers here but, but two fish got caught yesterday so there's obviously a few carp about um, we're at take time you never know your luck I thought it might be a carp but it's not it's a dead cat thank god for that I'm just going around to the rods which are getting plagued by crayfish. Um, lots of rod knocks. Let me move this side. Okay, we're just on dusk. It's quarter to eight, I've got about half an hour fishing to go. Um, and the carp's just jumped. The carp's just jumped about 20 yards past my left hand rod towards that big white boy out there. If you can see it. Yeah so um, fortunately the two chaps on Ellis Point were on the other side when it happened so they missed it so that's good news. Um, yeah it's looking it's looking pucker if only I had more time. That incidentally that rod's being plagued by crayfish the, the rod's been non-stop twitching. Um, so there's obviously a cray on that that's a single 20 mil live system pop-up um, and it's not been wrapped so not ideal but um, yeah, I'm in with a shout at least. You'll have to excuse you'll have to excuse the red shorts. Okay, um, it's Wednesday morning, it's just got light. I'm getting crayed on all rods. Um, I've, I've basically done the last three early mornings. Um, I know, I know the word on the street is that take times kind of from lunchtime through until evening, but that's just not practical with a family with me and a three-month-old baby. Um, so, so my only opportunity to fish is just before first light, and then f up until about eight, nine a.m. Um, so I've been getting down here little bit before first light to be honest but I'm only pinging them in the edge 
Um, the concept of actually getting the main boat out isn't practical with the time scales that I've got to fish. So um, I've just got the little um, the little blow up boat, and I'm just I'm just underarm flicking them out here and there, um, baiting a few spots, um, just with a few baits here and there, in the hope that I can pick up a carp. Um, and, and, and all the spots I'm fishing are easy access um, basically so I can get away quickly and get back get the pano chocolat and croissants in for breakfast and um, not not cause too much disruption to the holiday um, but I really am liking it down here even though I'm not doing that much fishing um, I am starting to get a little bit more tuned in talking with people um, seeing where anglers are fishing um, you can start to build up some form of a picture. It's, it's obviously not ideal when you're not on the water fishing every day, but um, there, there's a lot of anglers on. I'm guessing there are about, um, well, there's maybe five or six up each arm and then maybe five or six around this central area. I can count, uh, there's another one there. I can count four of us just in this small area here. Um, and there's a really friendly English chap down here called Dave um, he's, he's been in quite some time and he's catching carp but he had a couple of very nice carp out the West Arm on that Saturday although I didn't meet him then and then Tuesday morning um, I fished I, I continued down the West Arm and I fished right down further in a place called the American Beach and I've been putting a little bit of bait in there just off the beach but um, there was no sign of any carp. I fished early morning again. I, I didn't have the camera with me, but I, I fished through until about um, 9 a.m. And there was a Dutch lad down there that, that's also here with his family. Um, he said that they were up there on the Friday, which, which goes inside with what Dave caught on the Saturday. And, and they said that they were jumping up there. You could see them and, and a couple of decent carp. Dave caught a couple of decent carp. Um, so I kind of missed, the, missed it, I was a bit late on that one. Um, and then that leads us to here, and here I'm in the Lalac area. Um, it's been tricking a little bit in, or, in and around the boats. Um, it's bloody close in here and the water level is dropping, so I wouldn't say it's necessarily ideal. But I've just got them in this bay here, I'm right on the rod, so, and I'm fishing reasonably locked up with 40 pound braid on. So. There, I've, I've swam, swam round, it's quite deep actually. It's, on the edges of these boats here, it's about five metres deep. To be honest, I think I've missed my chance again this morning. I'm literally just flicking out singles. I've got about five baits around these, and these two rods here um, are on stringers, just, just flicked out. Um, so yeah, it's really a game of, a little bit of a game of cat and mouse with both the anglers and with the, with the carp. Um, with limited time available and I'm not able to get out on the water every day and certainly fish during take time I'm sure I'll get another two evenings in maybe two evenings over the course of the next eight days um, but if I can just pick up one carp I'll be happy um, I had a couple of in, I had a couple of roach off American Beach um, so they're obviously obviously picking up the 18 mil baits so um, it's got light now, the traffic's got quite busy and I've not seen any signs of any carp so unlikely I would say um, I'm going to get in now this morning but I'll do the same routine uh, th this afternoon on the shopping run I'm going to do just like I've done, I did yesterday on the shopping run I'll go around have a chat with a couple of people um, and put, just trick a little bait in the easy access spots where no one can see me um, so up on the north arm, I've been putting a little bit of bait in, the, in um, this little bay that's about a two, three hundred yard walk down a steep, um, steep track that's closed off for access down to the water. Can't get access to a lot of the water down there, but it's, um, it's one of the only spots that I'm able to fish, easy access, can jump in for a couple of hours early in the morning and leave. Okay, so it's um, it's about eight thirty in the morning. Um, haven't done the action. Um, chap has just moved into my right hand side. You can probably see one of his markers there, which is about eighty ninety yards away from me. There, there he is. It's just just 
popping out in his boat there. It looks actually quite far away, but it's not. Um, I'm right in the edge anyway, so it's not going to make any difference. I'm going to leave in a minute, but he's got his baits at about 30 yards range. Probably, my guess is in 25, 25 foot of water. I think I'm probably a little bit too close in, to be honest. Um, on the shelf on the way down, probably in about 15 to 20 foot. Thursday evening, it's, it's just gone 5.30, um, rarity tonight, I've managed to squeeze in an evening's fishing. I'm right up the top of the North Arm, lovely area this, um, I much prefer it up here, there are far less carp anglers, because um, it's far, le far less um, easy to get access to it unless you've got a boat with a decent motor um, and, and where the people can be bothered. There, there, there's a guy up on the picnic table just over there and there's also, I think they call it the duck. Dutch Beach just over there. This guy's pike fishing. He's just got a take. Tiny little one. Little roach or something. But anyway, anyway, so so yeah, I've just pinged them out on stringers. I'm not putting any bait in. Every there, there's a lot of anglers further down the lake and they're putting several handfuls around each hook bait. Um, so the so so I've just got stringers on, I've just pinged them out. Um, it's flipping deep here. My god, it drops right off. Um, I've been trying in much shallower depths, haven't I, anything. So I've just pinged them out, probably at about 40 yards range. Um, and we'll see what happens. I feel a lot happier fishing down this end of the lake where there's less anglers. It's beautiful. I've had to park the car further up and I've just come down, because I'm fishing so light with, with, with this little blow up boat. I mean, it's, it's obviously no good for big toes, but it's, it's fine for short range fishing when there's not too much wind. Yeah, if, if, if the wind takes me, it's only going to take me down that way and I can easily get out of the water. But yeah, we'll give it, we'll give it the evening here. Um, I've put a little bit of bait in just further up to the right, but um, I've been doing that for a few days, but I wasn't able to get in there. There were three, three pleasure anglers in that spot, so um, this, is, this is fine. It's a little bit of fishing on a summer holiday with the family. Um, if I get a carp, it's a bonus. Okay, merci beaucoup. Okay, can't actually believe it. I've caught Cassie and Carp. 28 pound plated mirror. Unbelievable.
fish came on an 18 mil live system pop up, fished in very well. Seems like pretty deep water. This is a magical. side just as the sun's going down it's about seven it's about seven p.m. right on bite time mega yes mate well I can't believe it. I've caught a Cassian carp. Woo! And it was an old scaly one to boot. I can't believe it. So happy. Um, I've, I've literally, I've, I've just put a fourth rod out. Um, if there are a few carp there, then I've got a little bit of a chance of another one. Um, so the fish came on um, an 18 mil live system pop up on um, multi rig style. Um, um, I can see why they use multi rigs down here because. Um, your hooks, because there are so many stones, your hooks can get blunted really easily. Um, so I've been continuously changing hooks even though I haven't been catching anything. Yeah, three inches off the bottom with the two bait tuna, um, tuna stringer. Um, I just pulled them straight out of the bag that I had. Um, and I've just lobbed them out. It is very deep water. So, so, so the fish are obviously in a little bit more depth than what I've been fishing so far unbelievable confidence restored and all that um, okay um, seven o'clock now I've just seen a cop jump off my left hand rod so I've got another chance um, can't believe it there's a few about I've got a chance of another one okay it's coming up last knockings um, I thought I was going to get another one but um it's all gone quite quiet now. A few fish show, whether it was the same one jumping, I don't know, but um, I had a period of about 15 minutes where two or three jumped. I'm off the mark. Um, it's Thursday, so I've done two evenings and three mornings. This is the second evening and the fish has come on an evening session. Cool, um, could you believe that, right? Right on my left hand rod, carp's just rolled, it's very dark now. Oh, I guess I've got about 10 minutes left. You never know. Okay, it's um, seven o'clock on Friday morning. Um, so I just had the one last night. Um, there were fish definitely here jumping and there was a big one jumping definitely. Right on these boys, there was a big carp jumping. Um, but I didn't get any more takes and um, just as it was getting dark, the guard came through, um, told us all to pack up. Um, it, to be fair, it was just about on dark. Um, do you, um, I've never seen such um, regular control. I um, checked my ticket. I've had the ticket, my ticket checked three times now, um, but he was a genuine bloke. Not, you know, just just said um, fishing's finished for the day. Um, please leave. So packed up. Um, but the, the cart, the cart was here. There's no doubt about that. And um, the, the cats are very active. There's a hell of a lot of pred predators jumping, catch, catching small fish, slapping their tails on the surface, and making those great big clonking sounds as they suck a um, as they suck a small fish from the surface but no action whatsoever I'm going to pack up very shortly um, do the croissant run and then and then we've got another week ahead of us at a different villa we've got friends staying um, two friends and their their three-year-old daughter are staying with us next week um, so I'm hoping I can bring convince James to come out with a few beers in the evenings um, when I stand a chance of catching one, but um, as it stands, Friday morning, no no bites um, at this time of the day. Um, over and out for now. 
carp just, just rolled over my bait. I've not actually got, I'm, I'm fishing single hook baits. Um, but that fish has rolled fairly close to my middle rod. That was a really big carp. I've had a lot of crayfish action, so I'm hoping that the baits are still on. Anyway, can you believe that? There's a carp here feeding. Look at that. We're, that's feeding in about three foot of water right in the edge. Okay, um, Sunday evening. I've not been able to get down the lake um, since that morning I did a few days ago. Um, it's not ideal conditions to be honest. The wind's pushing out here and it's a Sunday which means that the lake is incredibly busy with locals. Um, lots of, not so much carp fishing but predatory fishing, um, swimming, bathing, you know, that, that sort of stuff. Um, I've come back into the top corner of the north arm where they were the other day. Um, I put some Germans onto the fish. Um, they'd have one fish in eight nights, uh, in, in eight days. So um, they'd come right up this way. And as I was leaving, um, I told them to fish this area. I said that there were carp here, definitely. Um, so I don't know how they got on. Um, um, so I've just chucked them out. It's six o'clock now. I got here about 20 minutes ago. I don't know if you can see, it's looking pretty moody behind. Um, Looks like we've got a thunderstorm on the way, which wasn't on the forecast. I haven't brought my um, waterproof with me, but um, there's there's a few. There's a big group of teenagers up to my right who have got rods everywhere, so I'm limited to a very small area of water. Um, it's quite a long walk down here from the car, so I'm not going to start hunting around for another spot now. I've only got two hours before it gets dark, um, so we'll give it the evening. Um, all rods have been cast about um, 40 yards with stringers on, um, two pop-ups, one, bo one bottom bait, um, just just fanned out. Um, I'm guessing I'm quite, I'm quite near the centre, so I would guess I'm quite near to the bottom of the old riverbed, as the old riverbed goes up and out, out that way. That's where they were the other day. There will have been pressure since I came down last time. So um, that pressure would likely have moved them out, um, but uh, I've, I've, got to, I've got to see for myself that there aren't any carp here. Um, if there are any carp here, I'd like to hope that either I'll get a take or I'll see one jump in the next two hours. Okay, I've just had one. Uh, it's in the net at the moment. We'll photo it um, once this storm passes. 6.35. you believe it in the rain the memory car goes on me can't believe it cameras all wet very quickly lovely old fish again um, I'm guessing it's about it's about 31 32 it's not on mid 30 lovely there we go okay okay two casting carp were on Sunday this one's wriggling so I'm just gonna put him back lovely Ten past seven in the morning. Um, got down here just as it was getting light. Um, I've got literally an hour and a half, two hours this morning. All the family, family and friends back at the house think I'm absolutely mad. But you don't get many chances to come to Lake Cassian, so um, I'm going to try and make the most of it. 
Um, I'll do my croissant run on the way back. Um, I've not seen anything yet this morning. I put in about a kilo of bait, a kilo of 18 mil live system straight from the bag last night. Just to try and get, get them used to picking up the odd bait. Um, when, when I was down here the other morning and the carp were rolling, I didn't put any bait in. And I'm sure I didn't get a take because they just weren't used to seeing a boilie. Whereas if I put a few out, like I did last night and I caught one, um, <clears throat> there's a slight, there's a better chance that they'll get used to picking up the odd bait. I'd, I'd definitely go with the philosophy that putting in a, a lot of bait could move the fish out. But this is so quiet up in this corner. I'm almost certain there are still a few fish in situ. I've not seen any jump yet this morning, but there are some bubbles coming up in the <clears throat> in behind the boys. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to come back down this evening when it really is bite time, but I'm determined to nick one in an early morning session. Yeah, I've got, got, got a chappy up to my right carp fishing. He's just flicked him in the edge, and I've got no doubt that if he's staying for the day that he'll move in here when I leave. Um, but, you know, it's, that is what it is. There's nothing I can do about that. So yeah, so let's just quickly talk through what I had last night. Um, oh, look, look at that. Um, crayfish are active. All oh, crayfish seem to be very active early morning. Um, playing about with the baits. That's on a live system pop up. That one. Um, I'm only here for two hours, so it's only when you're fishing like the tuna bait they absolutely love. But the live system, they'll still play with it and nibble at it, but. For two hours fishing, you'll get away with it. Um, so last night, yeah, one one fish was standing just for a couple of hours. In the storm, I had that carp. I'm guessing it was about 32 pounds, um, low 30, somewhere in the low 30 region. Lovely old old Cassian mirror. So I've got two now, um, and that fish came on an 18 mil live system pop up, fished about two inches off the bottom. Um, and, and really, we're, the, the reason I'm using pop-ups, I know a lot. I know a lot of people don't use pop-ups down here, but that's not the, the real reason. Is that I'm fishing for such short sessions. I want a reasonably high visible bait that they're going to notice. I don't want to have a fluoro pop-up on there because they really are too obvious. And a live system, kind of natural-looking, light-coloured bait. Um, the view is whether it's got anything to do with it or not, or whether or not the carp were just there and fancied it, I don't know, but um, that's the theory, that, um, that, that they'll be able to see it and they'll, they'll pick it up um, reasonably, in, it's got to be instant in this situation. Uh, and that's the same same with the live system as, as a few free offerings, they're going to see it, if, if they're down near the bottom looking about, um, they will see a live system on the bottom before they'll see on on this kind of, I don't know, I'm, I'm fishing in, um, the, the, the fish have come on a reasonably soft drop, it hasn't cracked down on the rocks, it's come down on something soft and I've brought in a few leaves, so, so it's almost like it, it's not completely clean sand that I'm fishing on, it's a little bit of chod on there, um, but there's obviously food down there. Um, and, and a pop-up's just sitting above all of that, so it can easily be seen. Um, so yeah, an incredible, incredible fight in the boat it was. And shame I didn't get it on camera, but um, I went out in the boat, and it's such a small boat, it's pretty precarious. Um, but I managed to balance myself on the way out there, and it was a very, very impressive fight. Probably went on for about 10 minutes out there um, before I caught it. Now. Unfortunately, I've just ripped ripped the boat on a thorn on the way down here. Um, it's a clean clean cut, so I do think I'm going to be able to repair it tonight. But um, if I get one this morning, I'm going to have to try and play it from the bank. And, and I mean, look look at the state of these, these these snags all the way through here. It's really going to be difficult. And if it does get snagged at all, I'm going to call for assistance from Chappie up the way. I'm going to get him to hold my rod. I'm going to strip strip down to the um, swimming shorts and I'm going to swim out with my line and, and give them an instruction to 
to start winding, uh, I'll make sure that the drag's set so that, I mean, he's a carp angler, so he'll know the score. So I'm going to hopefully go be able to get above it, ping it off the snag, and then give the shout back to, to give it a bit of that while I swim back. Um, that's got to be my best chance without a boat. Blakeney carp up there past the boys again. Just turn to the left ever so slightly. Centre of the viewfinder there. I'm pretty certain that that's a carp feeding. Hopefully I'll get a chance to come back this evening. Just zoom out and show you where we are exactly. So the boys are there, and I'm all the way around here, fishing up against the boys. There we go, I've got two rods up against the boys. See there's another carp, there's blatantly a carp behind the boys. There. That is definitely a carp. Okay, it's um, it's Monday evening. Oh my god, actually, it's, it's Monday Sorry. evening. Um, we're down at the same spot. There are carp so here. Good. When we arrived, two or three crashed. Um, as you can see behind, we're with the family and friends. Um, um, but it, it's a bit of a circus down here, so I don't really fancy my chances. Um, but you, ne you never know your luck. Um, two fish. <laughs> t two fish of. Um, have rolled since we've been it's quarter past six now so we're right on bite time um, but nothing's jumped since this lot have gone for a swim and basically made a bit of a racket um, perfect conditions we've got the storm arriving just like last night um, but this lot will want to go when the storm arrives we'll see how it goes Chained or are they uh, on sink house? Yeah. That's it. We gave your rabbit a name. Oh. It's a big fish, mate. Do us a favour and bring the um, bring the um, net over. The net.
the net by, by just by the rods here. Oh. Very, very big fish. Oh, there. Very, very big carp. I've still got you in the shop, babe. Can I just check? I've got you the net there. Oh, and I've still got you in the shop. Him. We've got him! <laughs> Monster. Monster. James! Okay, you're not going to believe this. Um, it's just getting dark. Um, we've got a carp well over 50 pounds here. I'm going to say well over, it's over it's 50. way up now, I don't want to keep her out of the water too long. It's definitely over 50 pound. Yes mate, trip made. With the family here to see it. Come on, quickly, come around the back, quickly. Quickly. There we go. Big smiles, smiles all around. Smiles all around. There we go, great stuff. Let's get a picture with you. What's it, what's it coming around? It goes past 27 and then it goes to 30. Hold on, hold on. It's just shy. Of, it's just shy of three. Right, fine. So that's so that's 50, just over 50 pounds. Um, there we are, look at that. Mega. Um, the fish came on a double live system bait, snowman style, size four long shank mugger. Um, just cast out with 20 baits on the stick and a four bait stringer. Um, they're up here. No one can really get here with the boat without a 50 minute journey from the near, nearest boat ramp, which is why they're here. That is a beautiful carp. And that has made my year. This and the 59 pounder, brace of 50s from Cassian in early September, just fishing two hour short sessions. <sighs> Winner. Okay, and here's the other side. What a fish. Right, it's been out of the water long enough. I'm just going to take a couple of quick pictures and then get it back. Okay, the point's still sharp after that 50 pounder. So, just to quickly show you what I'm catching them on, I'm just going to pull the ring down. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. So, 
we've got about 11 or 12 inches of 30 pound coated braid this is a quarter one we've got a size 4 we've got a size 4 long shank mugger um, with um, that's 14 mil it's actually it's actually an, eight, an 18 mil um, heavily glugged um, live system pop up so it's been glugging for a couple of years so so it now sinks they're very buoyant these but after a couple of years of glugging or something like that they've just been sitting in the pot for a long time and then an 18 mil bottom bait underneath I'm short session fishing so the craze have been giving me problems but only, when you only got the rods out for two hours it's not too much of an issue um, I'm gonna put onto there a three ounce lead now I'm finding that because the water is so deep a bigger lead is actually more advantageous because I'm short session fishing I've only just threw a, brought a handful of leads down so I've got a three ounce lead what we're finding with the deep water is that often the takes are a little bit of a drop back or well, not that I'm using swingers but a drop back to start with as they're picking the lead up in the deep water because I'm fishing at short range and that's not ideal so a bigger lead the better actually but when you're casting it's not quite as straightforward and I'm just going to put on there I've got a four bait live system stringer that goes on there that wraps round the hair several times um, this water is incredibly warm so PVA tape um, dissolves very quickly so with the ring on there that ensures that that's not going to tangle on the cast it's wrapped around very tightly and that will dissolve probably on the drop because I'm fishing in about 30 foot of water um, it might be about 28 27 28 now um, because the water levels dropping probably about half a foot a day so I'm just going to chuck that out and show you where I'm having them from I'm having them from the boys and then probably a hundred yards up to the right Don't know if you notice that, but as I let, let the lead hit the water, I'm actually letting out a load of line. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hold, feeling it down on the drop straight away. I'm probably letting out another 10, 15 foot of line, just just to ensure that the lead kind of goes straight down. I don't want it coming in in a great big arc because it'll be ending up really close here. So I'm letting out a load of line just to make sure that it drops a bit closer to where I've actually cast it which is probably about midway across. I'm just gonna stick a handful of baits over the top. Um, the, these are old shelf life live system and tuna bait. Um, I've, I've had them since last season. Um, so they're old bait, the shelf life, it just goes to prove, it just goes to prove that this, um, these shelf life baits keep their life. Um, I'm convinced that the carp are mopping these up on the bottom. Lovely combination, you've got the visibility of the live system and then you've got the attraction of the tuna. Perfect combination. Just about 12 baits. I'm going. I'm going home pretty soon. I don't envisage any more action, but um, the carp will mop them up some point. But today, hopefully, I'm going to get a chance to come back tomorrow night, or even tonight if I'm very lucky. Okay, it's Thursday morning. Um, this is going to be my last early morning session. Um, I've got to take my missus to the airport tomorrow. Huge electric storm last night. It was the most impressive lightning I've, uh, I've seen in a long time. Um, it was almost like someone was shining a flashlight in the window for the best part of half an hour. 
it was absolutely incredible. A um, lot of rain that it turned into a bit of a mudslide, um, which isn't isn't great for the tackle. So I'm just trying to keep it all off the floor where possible. Um, the mist is just clearing now. There's there's three anglers down there. I think it's called the Dutch Point on the Dutch Point. Um, I think they, they certainly stayed up here for the night. I don't know whether they night fished, but I saw them. I got down here just before first light and they were they were bringing their stuff through the um, through the woods back down to the swims. Um, it's a long way from the boat ramp, so um, hopefully, I don't know whether they've caught anything or not, but hopefully there's still a few carp up here. I've not seen anything yet this morning. Um, I've only had what I've done quite a few early mornings now and I've only had the one bite so it definitely isn't the best take time. Um, the the afternoon and evening is definitely a lot better but um, there's always a chance and when you've got the family with you um, and evenings are more of a social event going to restaurants and generally drinking beer and wine um, it's, not, it's not particularly practical but I don't mind try and get the best of both worlds if only I had more time on my hands, I would be doing days, doing afternoons and evenings. Um, but I love it down here, it's a beautiful place. As you can see, that the clouds are just rising. I think we're in for a reasonably warm day today. Um, but all that rain last night must have, it must have cooled the temperature a little bit and got them into their autumnal feeding, um, feeding mood. So if there are any carp up here, I'd like to hope I could get one more before I go. But yeah, I'm still in shorts and t-shirt. Um, it's it's probably well, it's probably about 20 degrees now, but it, it's going to be 25, 26 again today. Um, yeah, lovely, lovely. Let's hope we get something. Okay, we've got another early morning fish. 36 pound mirror. Um, hardest fight of the lot, this one. Lovely fish, this is probably gonna be my last one. Um, yeah. So let's see if we can hold her up to the camera. Really long fish, this one. Oh. You have to excuse all the unhooking mats and everything. Thirty-six pound mirror. Oh, lovely. Okay, here's the other side. Lovely. Fish are queuing up for the live system. Um, I just had an another one. It's about. Um, just gone nine o'clock. Um, I had it at about 
and um, it took me right down the lake. I actually thought it was a catfish. But, um, it took me so far down the lake it found two snags. But fortunately, the um, 50 pound braid I'm using has managed to pull it off, but it's, it's another 36 pounder. One of, the, one of the strongest fights I've ever had. Um, unbelievable. I hoisted it into the boat and then swam back breaststroke leg kick. But, um, beautiful carp. I'm just going to try and hold her up. 36 pound, probably the last fish of the trip. Look at that. Six fish from Cassie and I've had a wonderful time here. Hope, hopefully I'll be back next summer. Unbelievable fishing. Okay, it's just getting dark. I think that's pretty much it for the trip. Can you believe it? Brace, brace of 42 pound commons right at the end. Unbelievable. Typically I've um, left the tripod at home, so um, I didn't want to bring the fish right up onto these rocks and do it around here holding the fish up high. So I've literally just, I took one photo of one of the 42s. They were incredibly similar and they came exactly the same time. Um, but you should be able to tell from, from, from the filming, if you want to look closely, they definitely are different, <laughs> they are different fish. Um, I did catch two of them, so um, quite incredible end to the trip. Um, both of the fish just came straight out. There's a deep channel that runs through here. All of the fish have come in that deep channel. I've had one rod further out into the open water, just on a slightly shallower um, area. I think it just then drops into the deep gully. The deep gully kind of goes mid, midway across here and then I think it's up the far side. All the fish have come in that gully. Um, um, it's dropping big time at the moment, it's dropping right down. But um, So what an incredible, eight fish now I've had, I've not lost any. Um, of, of those eight fish I've needed to land um, three from the boat and five, five just from, from the edge. I've been giving them quite a lot of teddy to bring them in no hook pulls or rock solid hook holds all of the fish have come on live system um, and I've been putting live system in um, because the, the wind's so good today I did up the baiting yeah so they've, they've come in and they've had all of it everything has gone right this trip can't believe it I've had two 40s two 50s um, three 30s and a 20 I think yeah if that adds up to eight just happened to have stumbled across them in the least accessible spot by boat it's Friday night now, I've dropped the missus off at the airport. Now I'm gonna go back, get, get all the stuff in the car, have a night's kip, leave early in the morning en route to Calais. <laughs>